Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Sunday, September 20th. This is Gina McGuire. We are not expecting any significant impacts to fire potential across the Great Basin, as warm and dry conditions will continue over the next two days. However, we will see a return to wetter weather briefly on Tuesday and Wednesday over southern and eastern areas, along with cooler temperatures. Yesterday, we did not see any precipitation or lightning across the region, with any lightning further to the south. However, over the last seven days, we've seen plenty of precipitation over Idaho, eastern Nevada, into Utah and Wyoming, and even the last 30 days as well, we've seen additional rounds of precipitation. However, over western Nevada, we've seen no wet weather over the last 30 days. Yesterday, we only saw light initial attack across the region with a couple of fires reported in northern Utah. The water vapor satellite image from this morning shows high pressure still dominating the Great Basin with westerly flow over parts of central Idaho. This will keep warm and dry conditions across the Great Basin through early in the week. Generally, low fire potential is expected in most areas due to recent cooler and wet weather. However, still due to dry weather and warm temperatures, we may see moderate fire potential over far western Nevada into the Sierra. Today, temperatures will remain 5 to 10 degrees above normal, with highs reaching the 80s to low 90s in most lower elevation valleys, and only into the 70s and upper 60s over parts of the higher elevations of Idaho and Wyoming. Today, winds will generally be light. However, we will see breezy winds over parts of the central Idaho mountains, and especially into western Wyoming, where we could see wind gusts around 30 miles per hour at times. On Monday, we'll still see warm and dry conditions as the ridge of high pressure only shifts slightly to the east, with generally low fire potential and still some moderate fire potential over far western Nevada. Very similar temperatures are expected again on Monday, and generally light winds, with again the exception of western Wyoming, where we will continue to see those breezy winds. However, relative humidity will remain elevated. As we move into Tuesday, we'll finally start to see some changes as the ridge of high pressure moves further off to the east, and we start to feel the impacts of an area of low pressure dropping into the northwest. This will help push moisture over the southern and eastern areas of the Great Basin, along with bring some cooler temperatures to the far north. So on Tuesday, we'll see temperatures decrease a few degrees over western and northern areas, and more significantly over southern and eastern Nevada and to southern Utah, as those showers and thunderstorms start to push north, where many areas will see wetting rains. By Wednesday, much of this moisture is pushed into Utah, where the showers and thunderstorms will remain with drier conditions across Idaho and Nevada. Again, generally low fire potential, with fire potential even decreasing further over southern Nevada into Utah as those showers and thunderstorms increase. As we move into Thursday and Friday, still dry air will remain across Nevada and southern Utah, and we will continue to see moderate fire potential over parts of the Sierra front into western Nevada, as this area will likely receive no moisture over the next seven days. However, temperatures will be cooling as this trough of low pressure in the northwest continues to drop further south toward the area. By Thursday, we may see a few clouds and maybe a few spotty showers across southern Idaho. However, more of this moisture will hold off until Friday, where we'll see some precipitation in the central Idaho mountains and possibly into western Wyoming. However, again, Nevada and the western side of Utah will remain dry. Winds will also start increasing as this trough drops south. However, right now, look to remain below 30 miles per hour at least through the end of the week. As we move into Saturday, we'll see even cooler temperatures as this low approaches, and winds will really start increasing as we approach the weekend with showers and possibly thunderstorms over parts of Idaho. However, again, due to the recent cool weather and wet conditions, generally low fire potential is expected, with the exception of western Nevada. If we look at overall forecast amounts of precipitation through this Thursday, you'll see the heavier rainfall amounts over southern Nevada and southern and eastern Utah, where many areas could see over an inch of total precipitation. As we move through the end of the week and the weekend, you start to see some of the shower activity developing over parts of the northern areas where we could see some wetting rains later this week and into the weekend over parts of Idaho into Wyoming. Now looking at current fire danger indices across the Great Basin, ERCs are below the 50th percentile in most areas due to the recent cool and wet weather, however have been increasing in all areas as warm and dry weather has set in over the last couple of days. And there are some areas over parts of Nevada and Utah that have ERCs above the 50th or near the 70th percentile. Looking at the later portion of September into early October, we may see a return to above normal temperatures again over the eastern and southern portions of the Great Basin, along with more moisture. However, temperatures may be cooler over northern and western areas. That concludes the briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening.